Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to Altcoin Daily with Bitcoin Gorilla. If you are trading sun or if you are holding sun or you bought sun, I think I am here to tell you and share with you what I see coming next because if you've been following me, I made a prediction about sun going to the upside and just yesterday and today has been an entire down market destroying the entire support i thought could hold so what am i doing about this because personally i have son and in this channel we are very transparent i am very transparent about my analysis one thing i understand is prediction is different from trading when you're predicting is easy when it comes to trading your prediction is an entirely different scenario because a lot is expected of you like making important decisions this the predictor will not tell you this is only what you can face when you are actually in the real trade and everything go copsided so in this video i am going to be very honest with you sharing with you my trading psychology how i am country currently handling the entire crypto market now I do know that this dump was coming, no doubt about it. And I did keep warning in my analysis that if you were going to enter that move that I was predicting, make sure you use stop loss. And what did I say about this stop loss? To prevent us from breaking the range of 0 0.0. 016 so if you have used the stop loss like I said in my video you would have been out of the whole um um some market that is if you are in for trading for me i am in some for a long term so i knew that this whole game is going to take a while i knew that it's going to take a while and the analysis i was basing basing it on was weekly and monthly and weekly and daily chart but the funny thing about that whole analysis is i also know that the previous data we are working with is very less since the redenomination of sun the real um data remaining is just this and when you are working with a very small data breaking of support becomes very easy so all the previous support has been chartered so if you've not sold sun like me who is holding sun for a long term what are you doing how are you reacting to this market well i'm here to tell you this is how i am handling sun my intention is to hold sun like i said for a while so what i did is to stake my coin see this is the best advice i can give you if you are trading stone um for a daily trader or a weekly trader then you should have been out of the trade by now if you are on spot unless you are shorting but there's no shorting of sun currently on binance right so you can only trade it on spot so which makes it that you should have visited if you use stop loss one of the biggest lesson i keep learning from crypto based on volatility is any coin i am buying i am not entering any coin without stop loss as far as i'm buying the coin when i still start seeing signs of weakness i move my coin if it's on if it's a coin i'm trading i make sure that i set a stale order using what stop limit order you understand that gives that as far as price doesn't go my way and makes anything on the downside i'm out of the trade right so and this order will not pick unless that support gets broken that is why i kept saying use stop loss so let this be a very important lesson that we learn as a trader unless you are as an investor and which i'm about to talk about the first scenario i just talked about is using stop loss if you are a trader you must learn how to use stop loss in this market any coin you are buying on any exchange you can use there's different types of orders there's stop limit orders there's limit order there's market order stop limit order gives you advantage of price is not picking up until the price actually falls below that your sell price that is when the order pre it helps prevent you from a lot of volatility because volatility in crypto is not your mate see no matter how my prediction might be support always break and resistance always break and i can make a prediction of something happening but i cannot tell you how much capital is going to enter the market each day or leave the market each day if anybody tells you they can't they are lying we can make this prediction but we don't know how much actually entered this market and if you know price is moved by capital the money that enters the market calls demands the money that leaves the markets calls supply 
So yeah, the supply might come, but you don't know how big the supply will come. And this is one of the facts and things that I've learned as a trader to have at the back of my mind that because I do not know how many traders can wake up and decide to sell tomorrow money, I need to protect myself and use a stop loss order. Yes, it's going to hurt me a bit that I'm going to lose probably some dollars, but at least I know how much I'm going to lose. At least if I bought 2,000 watts of sun, and I put my stop loss here. The stop loss could be charging me maybe $200 if price goes here and they hold. I should sell at $200. Yes, I could not have sold the pump up to this point, but at least I know that I won't be stuck in a trade and I stand a chance of buying it cheaper. That is the most important thing I've learned about stop loss. And I do not trade. In fact, I tell Machiavelli traders, don't trade with me if you're not ready to use your stop loss. Unless you are going into this as an investor. Which means you're ready to hold this thing for a minimum of six months. Sometimes you're going to have to hold it for a year, two, or three. So you need to take your mind off this market. This will help you emotionally understand what is happening. And just observe instead of getting emotionally moved and sell at the lowest point and then price moves up. So for me, what I've done is this. I do believe that Sun has good potentials for the futures, especially the price range where it is, where I bought. I still believe it's not too bad. But what I believe is, as if, if I draw a seller's line, and one thing I know about price is there is always a reversal. There is always a... A break of trend line and you can see if i draw a trend a, a trend line right here you see they broke this seller line they broke this seller line you can see one and two and three you can see here they broke above it here got rejected i need to move that line a little down got rejected just around this area and what did they do? They go back to retest the line. You can see they are, they are currently sitting at exactly that line. What does that tell me? This tells me that price can change direction at any time. See, as a predict, as someone who predicts, I can make a prediction for you. But when I'm trading it, I am 10 times, if not 100% times, more cautious of even trading that prediction. Because I must rate, how much am I going to lose? How much am I going to make? Is it worth it? Is it worth the entry? Because how much will tell me how much am I going to lose? I am not focused on the profit. I am first focused on the loss, which means how much am I going to lose? I don't care if everybody is calling uh, 50,000. We're going to 50,000. Fine. I don't doubt you. If it keeps going up, we are good. But if it goes down below my buy point, how much do I stand to lose? that is more important than how much do i stand to make this is a lot of lesson that a lot of us lose this is what guides me as a trader so this makes me not to take any trade without stop loss and this makes me focus more on futures and as well as sport what do i do sport when i'm trading sport i know that i am keeping my spot coin on the exchange where i can easily sell off where i can easily set that stop loss now, if things keeps going bad, I am off. I will definitely have maybe a $200 loss, maybe a $200 loss once it crosses this line. But what does that $200 loss? It's like a price I pay for security. For God's sake, if you want to be protected, you're going to pay your security. So $200 is the price you pay to the security, right? So, but you're safe, right? Now, think about the dump to this point. If you are still in the trade and you are now on like $1,000, now you wish you paid the security because now you are on injuries and your heart is on stress. You are worried. You're stressed out. That is if you're a day trader. But as an investor, you need to take your mind off and look at the long term. Are you investing into this for the long term? Do you believe this is going to go for a long term? And when such situations are playing out, you have to consider the chances of how do I add to this coin steadily? Yeah, for a trader, buying when price is falling is very dangerous. That is scaling down. Never scale down your trade if you are a trader. If you are an investor, I feel like price could get a bounce from where it is. At least a bounce to this point or this point. 
we are still going to arrive to this, which is a good thing if you bought here and we get to this point. So, but it's just going to take a dive down before we move that up, right? So I'm going to go ahead and bring Bitcoin Gorilla's uh, box to further help us with this explanation. So with this explanation, but how do you benefit from price when the dump is already on? So what do I do? Do I just keep my coin and keep waiting? No. The beautiful thing about Sun is that Justin Redenomination gives Sun the opportunity for you to what? To stake your coin. And what does staking do? Staking is you getting rewarded for using your coin for proof of stake, right? Confirming transactions, right? In the in the in the network. So what it does, it gives you opportunity to still somehow recover a little bit of that downside to enable you buy it cheaper and add to your coin so that when the recovery starts, you can easily sell off your prof your reward and make more money now a lot of things sometimes in a year so as an investor even though price is going down you stake your coin it gives you opportunity of having a return on that coin for about almost 20 percent to 30 percent sometimes it's more some coin gives almost 100 percent i um for sun right now you need to go and check depending on where you are staking stone the platform either you're staking it on that tron platform wherever you're doing it you have to check at the return because there's always a return right so this return keeps you keeps the waiting quite not too um emotionally stressful because emotionally you're going to be stressed during this period especially seeing this price go to the downside so what i've done is just take my coin and i remain calm i'm actually very calm on sun with this current move because i know that at some point I see Bitcoin having a move to 30K range. And in that move to 30K range, we could get a possible pump, a possible bounce that Bitcoin to see 48K because this whole entire market is crashing because of Bitcoin. The, the altcoins are breaking all support because of Bitcoin. Why? Because of the emotional um, catastrophe that Bitcoin is exacting on traders. As a result of fear, they want to exit other coins. They are trading because they feel that if Bitcoin goes down, if the king goes down, they, it's easy to conquer the entire uh, what? The entire community or the entire kingdom when the king, the king is down, right? It's easy for an attack to come. So most people move their money fast. Most traders, especially for traders, they move their money fast. So this leads to further dump and then short, short. Uh, but in case of Sun, nobody's shorting Sun because on Binance right now, there's no futures on Sun. So um, other exchange, it could exist. But on Binance, where I trade, I trade Binance. So there's no Sun. So mostly it's people just being scared and taking money off Sun because they don't want more dump. But if you're already in trade, learn how to please implement stop loss. I say this to Machiavelli trader, traders, and I'm saying it to you. The best thing you can learn is how to manage loss. In crypto, it's easy to get quick money, but it is 10 times easier to lose it back to the market. You can get into a trade, see good profit, and between you are waiting for more profit and you end up, euphoria is a very, very big thing that you don't know when it takes over you. And you, before you wake up, the coin has gone below your entry and completely devour you keeping you in a position where you have to hold for as long as at a point you can't hold any longer but sell but if you are investing it helps you stay through that period it's a secret that a lot of um, srp holder use a lot of people held srp for a long time but they just took their mind off the fact that srp was dumping those people and i was part of those people to be frank with you i was in srp when srp dumped badly 20 um so even why Bitcoin was pumping in 2020, 2021, SIP was misbehaving, but I kept calling $1 and I kept holding because I had that hope. And it's not about hope. It's about the fact that I was in SIP for a long time. So I was more like an investor, not a trader. If I was in a trader, I would have hesitated and want to make more money because in trading, you make more money when the money moves not when the money is stagnant when the money is stagnant you get tired and you are forced to sell on a loss so as a trader you want your money to move and managing lists is very important so in this situation if you are in this and you are in, not in this for a long term uh at this point you have to just be patient at this point you just have to be patient 
and let's wait for a possible bounce. It's going to come at some point, but it's going to need a lot of patience. It's going to need a lot of patience because a sideways is very possible here where we are at. So if this support holds, if it holds, because there's no previous data to show us where it could even hold, it could extend below it. But I don't want that to happen. And we're hoping that Bitcoin holds the 30k to 28k range and we get a move up. Or it could come around the 38 and 32k, all this are support area, but mini support, the real supports around 30k to 28k. We don't know what this is likely playing. Like I said, I don't know how much enter this market and leave daily, but I am sharing my honest opinion and how am i managing it? most of my altcoin i have taken them to stake i know this is going to last a while i know this is not something i'm going to lie to you about i know this is something i'm going to be honest with you that this is going to take a while so grab your seat stack your coin just collect the little uh return that is on top and let's wait for an opportunity because the opportunity is going to come because there will be a second rejection the second rejection is even if the dump is going to continue at some point we're going to get this that looks like this x h x so you see this line has already been broken and they are retesting it so at some point they are going to find out a way to either get rejected here still going to still add as x and x but or get rejected here so if the dump is going to continue at some point they are going to bounce to seek a bet bigger rejection the same thing i've been saying about bitcoin bitcoin i made a prediction that is going to 30k but i know that at some point there is going to be a bigger rejection these bulls are being pushed they are going to get to a support whereby they will take a dive up now this dive up with demand because you can see here we, we have higher high, higher high, higher high. Yeah, you can call this a uh, lower high, but it is, in a, it, it is easily already broken. I really call this a broken channel. So I do see that move coming. But even if we're going to get a move up, challenges are already developing. The reason is that a previous broken support becomes a resistance right when price decided to go back up and a, bro a broken resistance becomes a support right so this is a situation whereby you see when price was going up here you can see it broke th there's a mini resistance here i need to put that there's a resistance around this zone right so because why you can see also see the reactions around here right so you can see it broke here it broke here it it turned it into a support it turned it into when it come here it just you can see so in this situation when we return you can see when it broke into this point and break above it when it returned it becomes a resistance so even if we return we're going to get reaction around this same 0 0.16 that we thought we could hold here it's going to around 0 0.16 to 0 0.8 0 0.0 0 0.016 to 0 0.018 so there will be a reaction and even if they get up so they'll keep getting this reaction so this is going to be need a lot of patience a lot of patience a lot of patience if you tell me you are in this coin with huge amount my advice is go and stake this coin justin did a wonderful job by just redenominating this before the entire crypto market is crashing it gives you an opportunity to stake your coin and still get reward well if you are interested for me um i really see crypto market taking a while before the bull continue so um please i will update you guys i will always come and update you and i will share my honest review if you find this analysis quite interesting because i am very honest person i will tell you please for long term stake your coin if you're trading go and learn how to use stop loss please it's going to help you this market is very very volatile <laughs> the volatility is not your metal <laughs> okay so i remember bitcoin gorilla and I'll always come and update you. If you like my analysis, subscribe. And do click the notification bell to get notified when I, pay, I, I post happy trading. And please, don't get emotionally stressed by this market. Take a deep breath. It's all going to be all right at the end of the day. It's all going to be all right. Unless you are stuck on futures, which is not a talk for another day. But for this, if you are on spot, Justin has given you a reason to go and stick your coin. At least till we see a move up, which is going to take a while. So brace yourself at this point. Brace yourself. Happy trading. Love you all.